This video is going to give an overview of how to set up the iPad and the stand for using MyCreate on the iPad to do a stop motion animation. Many of you will be using my iPads which will have these kind of covers on them. So you want to put the cover at the bottom and then fold it up but if you do that you'll notice that you're covering the camera so you fold it up and then you fold you've got the three lines there if you fold it on the middle line it will fold down and expose the camera the iPad stand should have the horizontal arm one click above parallel with the table. That's going to allow you to capture a little bit bigger area of your paper, but as we will see in a little bit, you're going to have to adjust your paper a little to compensate for that. With the iPad oriented this way, the home button on the left, and the camera is down in the bottom right corner. The folded cover is up at the top and goes underneath. You're going to take your paper. If you cut it 12 by 14, you'll be good. So I drew the green on there so we can see that top left corner. We're going to line it up here in the top left corner of the MyCreate frame. You'll notice over here that you can see part of the table there because since the iPad is one click above parallel, it's not a it's not showing a true rectangle, it's showing a little bit of a trapezoid. So to take care of that, we just rotate it a little bit counterclockwise. But when we do that, notice down here now that the table showing so we rotate it to line up that top and then slide it over about half an inch then we can tape it down in the bottom left and top right corners those corners won't be visible in the frame so you can see that it's approximately 13 and 3 quarters if you cut it 14 inches you'll have a little bit of a buffer there on the right side another thing orienting it like this does is it takes the iPad out of the light so there's not as much shadow I usually do my videos at 7 frames per second so I can grab the FPS frames per second slider and just take it down to 7. Sometimes when you release it jumps to 6 or 8 or you just have to keep working at it. And it's not critical if it's 8 or 6 but I just generally use 7. To delete a frame you tap on the frame to get the orange box around it. Tap the trash can and yes to delete it. You can delete more than one frame by tapping one frame and keeping your finger there and then tapping another frame. That will select the frames although it doesn't select the last frame that you tap it it selects the frame right after that one not sure why but that's how it works so now I have those four selected I can delete them all when you want to move and scroll through the timeline if you try to grab a frame if you tap on the timeline and grab a frame sometimes you grab it if you don't start moving right away when you tap, sometimes you grab that frame and you're actually moving it and dropping in a different location. The best way to move along the timeline, and you can't see this, 
in the video but I'm tapping underneath the frames in the white space and dragging it that way you won't accidentally move frames around you can duplicate a frame if you need to slow something down or maybe you had a hand in one of the three frames you delete it I put my hand here to show how we can duplicate a frame if you want to duplicate a frame you tap it to select it with the orange box and then in the middle blue toolbar you tap the two squares and it will duplicate the frame the plus gives you an option to import an image from your photo library you can import a song as a background or you can add blank frames which are actually black which could be used for a buffer in between scenes if you wanted to like fade to black instead of just 10 frames of whatever that last picture is so that's another option the three arrows the left arrow will take you all the way back to the beginning to frame one the right arrow will take you all the way to frame 42 and the play arrow will play the iPad is always saving your file so there's no save feature when you're done you tap the three lines in the top left and that takes you back to the gallery